Hey guys, how you doing? Sally here. Today's video is just a very, very informal, quick demo, I'm not gonna call it a tutorial, of my makeup look today. So I'm just headed out the door, ready for work. It is a beautiful day, I don't want anything too heavy, and I want ease. That's the name of the game. So I'm about to get ready for work, but I thought I would very quickly do my makeup with you guys this morning and show you what I use. I always use the Embryolisse um, Le Creme Concentrate or Concentre, um, multifunction moisturizing, nourishing cream, face mask, face balm, but for me, it's a fabulous under makeup primer so a makeup primer I absolutely love it and if you are have if you have an older skin mature skin I'm 53 for reference then it just makes your skin feel so so nice I've also used the um, La Roche Posay Amthelios uh, this is the ultimate one so it's the newer version it's got an added ingredients I can't remember what they're called but this is fabulous for sun sensitive skin and for your face so age spots uv protection remember that a vast majority of your lines and wrinkles if not most of them are caused by uv damage i'm then going in with the beauty pie balm and this is again it's kind of an oil free tinted moisturizer kind of like a, a base so i've popped that on already so it's not a very um opaque coverage it's very sheer but it does kind of even out your skin tone and it's really lovely so let's get started the first thing that I'm going to use is the iconic multi-use contouring palette and I simply splodge it on I'm going to look into the mirror as I do that but you'll see I'm um, it's got the usual six shades I'm actually going in with the darker shade and I'm going to pop it on across my hairline um, along my cheekbones along my jaw now top tip I have got jowls which already create a shadow what I don't want to do is put this too far down here which will bring it will give the effect of bringing the jowls down further so I avoid that area and then I come slightly forward on my chin create a little shadow under the lip and lastly just obviously this is preference I just go down the sides of my nose so those are my darker shades that I've splodged on this is not really a tutorial I'm just showing you what I do the next thing I'm going to use is the skin tone more of a foundation tone and I'm popping that on my cheeks kind of in between the areas that I've already splodged and not forgetting the forehead as well a bit more on there and one more just in the middle of the chin so those are the areas that I've done the splodges now this is a good trick so I'm going to apply a very light concealer color coming up and that will give the effect of lifting the face so I'm going to apply it just in the corner of the eye there the same over this side and then the usual kind of areas for your concealer like so and corners of the nostrils and the corners of the mouth and that's it so that is it for the iconic contour palette now i'm using a foundation brush this is from il maquillage it's one of those online brands and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to blend the whole lot again i'll look in my mirror i'm going to blend the whole lot and i'm not going to pay particular attention to how i do it this is all about ease and simplicity. 53, I'm busy, I'm time poor, I just want to get out the door and I want to look half decent. So here I go. Just literally blending it in. And as you can see, I'm kind of blending up into the hairline. I'm going to have to just look down as I do this. So I can look in the mirror. There you go, all the way around. So these darker shades, make sure you blend it properly and you don't want sort of, you know, dark patches. 
loved it. Can you see what it does? It gives you this angle, which is really nice. Don't worry if it looks too dark at the moment. It won't, I promise you. And I'll finish off with my fingers, just making sure that it's all blended in. And I've got a little blemish, I've got a little spot here, which I'll probably touch up with a bit more of a um, concealer. And that's it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over with a bronzer. Now I'm using the Chanel bronzer. I have the lighter shade and I just pop that on almost in a figure of three around my face. So I've got a nice brush, just a quick swirl in there and it is just a case of going like a figure of three. Sorry, I keep looking up. I'm looking at my monitor so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> like that. And you might want to go across your neck and your decolletage as well. And I'll just have a quick check. And that again, it just gives you a nice bit of tan, a little bit of glow, and it's a really lovely summer kissed look. Now what I'm going to do is my eyes, and I'm using an Aldi palette. This is literally really affordable, five pounds I think something. It's actually in the store still at the moment. And I'm going to use my eyeshadow quite high up on my brow bone where you wouldn't normally put your light your darker colors i'm going quite high up this gives the appearance of more kind of width if you like between the lashes and the brow because i do have hooded eyes and that is age but also genetics so as i said i'm coming really high on my brow uh sorry my lid so where the crease would normally be about here, excuse my spot, I'm actually coming really quite high up. Now I'm going to flick it out a little bit and that gives kind of another illusion of lift. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put just in this kind of third, so if we break it into thirds, then this area here, a darker shade, but I'm going to be careful not to go too over into my movable lid and just flick that up as well. You can pat it on if you find that your uh, lids move quite a bit. And now I'm going to put quite a matte shade into the corner. And I'm then going to blend it all. This is just a really easy day look. So that's it. Now what I'm going to do is just get rid of the excess of my brush. And I am now going to blend the whole lot. So that's it. Now I'm going to do just a tiny bit of line, um, just to give my lashes a bit of definition. My lashes are very, very blonde. So I'm going to use my magnifying mirror for this, and I'm going to come in and just go along with just a very subtle line. Like so. The next thing I'm going to do is the under eye, and I'm going to use um, a very soft coal pencil. This is just a Rimmel coal. And all I'm going to do with that is just go along like that. So that's it. Now it's just a case of some mascara. So that's my mascara. The mascara I used was the Long Lash by Rimmel. It's like, you know, it's a great affordable uh, mascara. I'm now going to do my brows. Now, my brows are very blonde. Um, I do tint them, but this eyebrow pencil by It Cosmetics is a really, really good one. It's shade universal taupe or taupe. And I just love it because you pop it on, you can just literally 
stroke the, um, the pencil through your brows, fill any gaps, or if you want to just build your brows up a little bit, you can. And when you use the spoolie, it actually turns into kind of like a powdery finish. I really love it. So don't worry if you go too heavy handed, because once you then use the other side, which is the spoolie, and you start brushing it through, it kind of diffuses. It's a really, really good uh, brow pencil. In fact, I'd go as far to say as that, that I wouldn't do without it. I think it's brilliant. So that's it. This, remember, this is not a glamorous look. This is a daytime, going to work, easy look. I'm now going to go in with my magnifying glass and just check my creases under my eye. So now I'm going to do a touch of blusher. I've got this lovely palette here by Iconic. I do like this Iconic brand, it's a really good brand. And in this one, it has um, some bronzers, some highlighters and some blush as well. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to use this brighter blush. I'm gonna be really careful and conservative with it. I'm not going to splodge it on too much. And I'm just going to sit it quite high on my cheekbone, which again, gives the illusion of lift because ultimately that's what we want. We want to look lifted. We want to look fresh and rejuvenated with our makeup. We don't want makeup that is sat in, a, you know, a time warp and stuck in our 20s or our early 30s because that makeup just doesn't suit us anymore because our, our skin changes, our face shape changes and the makeup that worked in our early 30s or in our 20s just doesn't work anymore. My top tip, I always pop a little bit of blush across the bridge of my nose to give me that sun-kissed look. I avoid putting too much blush down here because that can make the face look quite drawn, but I do quite like it in the apples of my cheeks because I just feel that when you smile, it lifts your face, it gives you kind of a little beautiful rejuvenation and you can even pop it across the mid part of your forehead as well. The next thing I'm going to do is just add a touch of gold onto the tip of my nose, just in the cupid's bow, my chin, and again, just a sweep across my cheeks. And that is pretty much it. I'm now going to just add a little bit of lip. And today, I'm just going to do a gloss and this is kind of like, looks quite red in here and orangey. It's actually a lovely, very nude gloss when it's on the lips. All done, that's it. Ready for work, ready for my day. I will list all the products that I've used. This was such a quick get ready with me just so that I could literally demonstrate what I do on a daily basis. I mean, this is my everyday makeup ready for work. I hope you liked it. I'll chat to you very, very soon.